Hey, good morning options traders. And I thought this would be a perfect time to talk about how SKUs can hurt out of the money option buyers. We're still in a fairly high volatility environment with coronavirus, but even if we're not, something always comes along that puts us into some volatile markets. And during times of high volatility, traders like out of the money options, and it's mostly to reduce the cost. They're saying, well, these half the money options are so expensive. Let me go to the out of the monies because I will pay less for them. And that way, if I'm wrong, I don't lose as much. But because we're in a high volatility environment, I still have a chance of making some very good money. But this is where you have to understand the difference between the absolute price of an option, which is the market price, and what's called the relative price, which is the implied volatility. And if you're not watching the implied volatility, it's so easy to step into traps. And especially when we get high skews. And that's because high skews can cause trouble for the out of the money traders. So let's start with the most obvious question. What is a skew? Well, there are many types of skews in a market and probably the most common is called a vertical skew. And that's where we're looking at a given expiration, let's say December, and we're looking at various strikes. So let's say the stock is currently trading at 50. The 50 strike would be the at the money. Maybe these would be the in the money calls, and these would be the out of the money calls. Now on the vertical axis, we're looking at volatilities. In fact, it's the implied volatility of the options. So let's say that the stock is currently trading at 20% volatility. If that's true, you would certainly think that all of these strikes would trade at 20%, right? Makes sense. If the stock's trading at 20% volatility and they're all tied to the same stock during the same time, they should all trade at the same volatility. Well, you would think, but welcome to the real world. This is not how they work. So even though this is what you would expect, what you're probably going to see is that the in the money options might trade way up here at much higher implied volatilities. As we get closer to at the money, they'll start to drop. 45 call might be trading less. The 50 call being at the money will usually trade very close to the actual volatility of the stock. There's what's called an arbitrage opportunity if this doesn't occur. So that's usually gonna be pretty close. But if we start going out of the money, you're going to see the implied volatilities start to get bumped up again. So let's say again that our stock is trading at 50, the at the money call is the 50 strike, but you want to buy the 55. But if you don't know what you're looking at, you might find that you're actually paying 40% volatility for a stock that's trading at 20%. Yeah, the options price, the market price, the absolute price might look cheap, but the relative price is quite expensive, okay? Because you're, instead of paying down here at 20%, you're paying up here at 40%. All right, well then why is that a problem if you're right and the stock price rises? Well, the reason is that if the stock price rises from 50 to 55, you're now holding the at the money option. And if the skew curve stays the same, you're not gonna be holding an option at 40%, you're probably gonna be holding an option at 20%, you're going to take a huge hit on the implied volatility. And that's greatly going to affect your options price. So let's jump over to a pricing model and see what can happen. So now we're over into the Option Industry Council's website, and this is a Black Shoals pricing model. So let's say that our stock is trading for 50, strike of 55, this is one you're looking at. We'll give it 120 days to expiration, 40% volatility, and 1% interest. And if we click on calculate, it tells us that the options fair value is 275. So that's what you would expect to pay if these conditions are true. So you pay 275 for this out of the money option, thinking that the stock is going to rise. And you're correct. Let's say that after just 30 days, the stock has gone up. So let's say that it moves up to 55, and we're going to give it 90 days till expiration. So you paid 275 and you go, oh yeah, I'd probably be able to sell it for 441. But what you didn't account for is that this is now the at the money. 
And if that skew curve is correct, your volatility is probably going to get chopped in half from 40 to 20. So instead of getting 441, you get 224. You paid 275, you sell for 224, it's a big loss, even though you were correct. And that's because you weren't accounting for the shift in implied volatilities based on the skew curve. So just remember that skews can cause large, unexpected price changes. Buying out of the money options usually exposes traders to higher volatilities. And if your outlook is correct, remember that the volatility level may change too. For anyone who'd like to learn more about the art and science of options trading, please check out the Alpha Trader course and Strategy Lab at optionsa-z.com. Also, please join us on the Facebook trading group, Options A to Z, and you can find a link in the description below.